Hello everyone, welcome back to the media pool. This is Xue Rui Wang. In this video, I will present the development of my knowledge and skills throughout a whole viral video module, with supported by some pictures and videos. It will divide into two parts. The first part is about the critical thinking of Berger's contagious characteristics of viral video. I will present how we critically employ the theory to improve our group video. Then, the video will move to focus on the teamwork of our group 8, even though the group work was cancelled because of the coronavirus. In this part, I will use two small stories about our teamwork, with reference to Tuckman's stages of group and Goma's explanation of leadership, to illustrate our improvement as well as some drawbacks. Furthermore, it will conclude some effective interaction skills within intercultural communication based on our teamwork. After learning the client's needs and the contagious characteristics, we began to form a general plan of our video. Our goal was to promote safe and call the audience to join. Initially, we want to use the stories and emotions to resonate with the audience. After learning from the official website and discussing with the staff, we found a good story of positive life change after joining the community. So we plan to use the strong viral contrast to present the story that a different states before and after change. The reason why we want to realize the past life was to make the story more vivid and concrete, so as to deepen the impression of the audience. As Berger argued that information travels under the guise of what seems like the idle chatter, and sometimes even negative emotions may be useful. We imagine the audience would be interested in this kind of story. The whole story of changing life in the community not only conveys a positive emotion in general, but also contains a progress of inspiring the audiences. Theoretically speaking, we plan it to embed the meaning of joy. However, our inadequate consideration was pointed out by our tutor, Carrie. She suggested, Maybe you should consider the staff's willingness of performing and representing the whole community as well the potential influence of visualizing his past life. Hence, I realize we need to provide more suitable and attractive ideas based on these considerations, rather than just use one single story to promote the whole community. Also, the true story is fascinating, but the way the audience consume it seems unpredictable. An unexpected conversation with the Uber driver on our way to Bhutto provided us with the new ideas. While being asked about the feeling of there, he said, There are more good places for me to choose. Why should I go there? His words remind me of the other two characters that triggers and practical values are highly needed to promote the community. We should start from the nature of the community to show what they can actually offer and appeal the audience to come. Hence, we move to be more conceptual, that starting from the basic ideas of our clients and make connections with our own life. We plan creating the real story of our teammates with SAFE to convey what we can actually experience there. That is also what the SAFE could offer. In this level, the video could present more practical values, such as showing a good deal of drawing knowing. Additionally, the common features between us and the target audience will trigger them to think about their own life and guide them to establish connections. We change single one story to three small stories for entertaining our audiences. Also, this fast-speed video interspersed with various journeys become an exciting emotion. However, it didn't mean that we gave up the other characteristics, but concentrate more on these. I learned from the project that it's essential to critically use the theory with a thorough consideration of the actual situation and the balance of different principles. While condition limited, it's better to start from your own experience to improve the audience engagement and attract more attention, rather than just simply adhere to meet the theoretical requirements. Nevin and Hamlet's book, Going Viral, also helped me to better understand how to make the video gain more popularity. This part will illustrate how our group moved from the forming stage to the final performing stage. In the first two weeks, the group stayed in the forming stage that we needed the tutor to tell us what to do. 
Although we have made a weekly discussion plan since the establishment of the group, we can see that they were not efficient enough. The discussion was just the extension of what we have discussed in the lecture. However, after some activities such as group trip and discussions on the viral video sessions, the group gradually moved to the storming stage. In this stage, we set a goal of our group work. Since then, our group has begun to produce some practical output. For example, we had some sort of ideas produced on the Google Doc after each meeting. Moreover, we all agree that everyone could be the leader when he or she got a good idea to develop. It means that we preferred everyone to be the project leader rather than selecting one group leader. During the brainstorming, each of the leader was more in the combination of a affiliative and a democratic style. After we illustrate what we thought, we would ask others' opinions and discuss with them. Thus, it largely reduced the drawbacks of a single leadership style, such as lack of constructive suggestions. However, the problem still existed because of liking the one to make the final decision. For example, once we were talking about the design of the ending scene, the group discussion was stuck at a small point. Since the unclear expression in intercultural communication, we spent around 10 minutes. The conflict among us was visible, and most of us was a bit emotional. Therefore, a decision maker was needed here to reconcile the conflicts and move forward, but we did not have that role in that time. Finally, the discussion was paused for a while, and this problem has been put on hold. The drawback of our leadership style was reflected here. The democratic style leads to postpone the decisions. Even though it provided opportunities for teammates from different cultures expressing their opinions. Furthermore, it also escalated our slight conflict. This meeting may also reflect one of the luncheon's dysfunctions, lack of commitment. During the argument, each of us was detected to speaking our own ideas, but ignored others' opinions, which caused the ambiguity about our decision and priority. Consequently, an unhealthy conflict occurred at that time. However, this meeting taught us to improve our teamwork and move to norming and finally performing stage. For example, before the first filming of knowing, I realized I need to avoid the ambiguity appear last time so as to ensure the commitment of all the members and smoothly finish filming. So I printed scripts for each of the members. Furthermore, I also simply filmed each scene of Aero in my dormitory for my British teammate so that she can better understand what I needed. Therefore, our first practical shooting succeeded. As the leader and the director of filming, all the teammates supported me to finish our flying. For instance, during the canoeing, Hannah always asked me, Doris, are you okay? If you needed me to do anything, just tell me. Similarly, while I and Remy were running for checking the canoes, Tang and Emily waited near the finish line as we planned it, and kept me informed of the good things they found. As Emily said, I found an excellent thing to be used. I've already been there. Call me if you need me. Hence, our team finally moved to the performing stage with a strategic commitment of tasks and working together for our aim. Learning from the teamwork, it's essential to show respect to each other and make commitment of shared goals. It will not only help the group work, but also contribute to the further intercultural communication. Also, thinking ahead with preparation for the potential problems can help we understand each other better. Moreover, showing the positive attitude to others will strengthen emotional connections so as to improve the cohesion of the team. That's all for today's video. If you like my video, please click like and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye now.